I bought this LED light in 2014 to replace our range of HMI lights for filming. It's heavy like hell. Today we're doing a full review to find out how this light can actually replace this one. This is so light. This is so light. I just sprained my back. We'll start with the good points and then the bad points. Good point number one, this is not a paid review in any way. So watch, believe, enjoy. Good point number two, check out the price. At the price of just US dollar, 199, this Corvo light can give you dual lighting, which means that you can go from 2700 Kelvin right up to 6500 Kelvin, which means that you can get very warm light and also cold bluish light and at the same time, this whole light can be powered all 100 watt of it with one single V-mount battery. We have seen LED lights being able to power by V-mount batteries. There's nothing strange. But this one, at 100 watt, you can pull this off with just one V-mount battery. All this has to be good point number two. Good point number three. There was a time my lighting people are bodybuilders. This is nothing, this is really light. All this is achievable by technology. The call ball uses one single cop LED. What is COB LED? That's called circuit on board. Circuit on board LEDs. Well, let's understand what traditional LEDs are. These are your LEDs. And then you have a slightly more modern ones like this, which are the surface mounted LEDs. And then if you look at the cop LED, it uses silicon, and that is why you can pack more LED arrays in just that small, same square space. And that's what makes the core ball so small, so compact. I'm starting to feel that this and this is almost same weight. Good point number four, when you get the core ball CL100, it comes with a bowl like this, which is supposed to increase the brightness. Let me show, let's do a test about this. And this comes with a bow and smile. I know. The company doesn't exist anymore, but I swear to God, it's one of the smartest and easiest to find on online shopping, the Bowen Mount. And you know, almost everybody uses this when you buy lights from online. I hate it when they come up with their own proprietary mount. So this is good, which means that Yi Chong, I can still use my other modifiers. We can put a beauty dish to this, isn't it? Where's the beauty dish? The Cold Bowl CL100 is bright. But brightness is a very confusing term in lighting and it's relative. So I've got the CL100 connected to the wall socket now through the adapter. Turn this on. And one of the things that most people would do is to have the light pointed to the subject and then call it the one point out of the three point lighting. This is harsh as hell. I can tell you this much. I can see that the Corbo CL100 is truly meant for a single solo video maker, which means that you have one or two of this and then you pull everything off with good lighting. And the best way to use the CL100 is to elevate your light, point it as much as you can to the ceiling, and then swivel the light up, point it to the ceiling directly, and place it at an angle, and voila, how's the lighting now? Is it good? So if you look at the Colbo website, it says that the CL100 has a lux of 3000 at one meter. What is lux? It's a measurement of brightness. One lux is equivalent to one lumen at a square meter space. That is still confusing if you're not a light scientist. I'm not one. But the point is this. A lot of people thought that, hey, it's a 100 watt light. So it's a 100 watt. It's not that bright compared to my halogen light. Here's the thing. If you have a light bulb, both of them are halogen light bulbs and they are both made the same way, the same brand. Then you can use wattage as a comparison, which means that this 100 watt halogen lamp is brighter than the 50 watt halogen lamp. But if you're comparing in an LED light with a halogen, you cannot use watt because watt is just how much of electricity is consuming. So in other words, wattage can be used if it's the same heating and lighting element, but this is not. 
So let's really find out how bright this is. Like I say, brightness is a comparison. So typically, if I'm a solo filmer, I'll have the light about five feet away. So this is five feet away. So I'm gonna have this right about here and point it to my face. So at ISO 200 and 1 60th of a second, point it to here and click and I get F4. Let's find out what our usual LED clocks in because I need to compare the brightness. If this thing is brighter and saves more electricity consumption, then this is the new workhorse. And this is our workhorse. Same thing, five feet away. And looking at this, I can tell it's brighter because am I overexposed? All right, so I'm just gonna 5.6 at the same ISO of 200, 1 over 60th of a second. This light is one stop brighter than that light, which means that this light is two times brighter than the Coalball CL100. But, Yi Chong, don't you agree that this thing is 15 times heavier and probably consume electricity? You know how I know? You just touch it and it's hot like hell. And that's one thing that I like about the CL100. What did I tell you? It's meant for those tasteful, solo filmer. It comes with a bag like this with a strap and a handle as well. You can open this. And let me show you what you can fit in here. How cool is this? Can you imagine we put that big ass into the bag? This has got to be the best point of all of the CL100. Look ma, no hands. On. Look ma, change color. Look ma, cold light. This thing comes with a very cool remote control that my filming director has been abusing since this good point started. How cool is this? Why is such a cool thing needed in Fleming? Simple, this is not a gimmick. When you have your light up there, remember I taught you that you should like point it up in the ceiling? One of the best way you can do is change the color, change the brightness and all this. And you know what I like about this remote control? It is not one of your stupid TV, doesn't work, infrared one. I think it's Wi-Fi, but Yi Chong thinks this is Bluetooth because you need to pair this. And when you buy the CL100, it actually comes with an instruction that teaches you how to pair. How long did it take for you to pair? Was it difficult to pair? And what I like about this is that, look at this knob. This one single knob that you have here, there's two things. Without pressing it, if you turn, this is adjusting the brightness. If you press this, you're actually adjusting how warm and how cold the light is. And check this out. It's got this mode. Press this and you can have candle light. Bonfire, look at it, how it flickers. So I can actually have this down here and roast my marshmallow. And then you say, you know what guys, I'm gonna be telling you one of the worst and scariest horror story in a campfire. Does it look real? And that's not the end of it. And then I have this breathing like faulty bulb. What does it do? It flickers? All right, this, this is one of the coolest. Flash. And then we have lightning. So all you need is folly. Ella, turn on some folly. Well, like all products, they have their good points and bad points. Bad point number one, plastic. Plastic body and plastic swivel. You know what? I'm okay with the plastic body. I find it quite cool. It reminds me of the Alien Bees flashes. So nostalgic. But my point is this. This is something that I'm pretty sure if you drop on the floor, which I know you guys who are flipping with me will do so, it will break. And what's even worse than this is I know that this swivel is going to give way. It's going to break as well. It's, it's, it's too flimsy. But here's the good point. It gets mounted to the body with four Allen keys. So if I were you, what I'm going to do is that the moment I get hold of this, I'm going to remove this and mount it with a 
better swivel. That, that's what probably I would do. So yeah, that's bad point number one. So I was saying that it has a Bowen mount as a good point and then now I found out that it doesn't fit. It goes in but it won't click. Hmm. And this is like the second one. Mm. You okay, bring it in and then I can't turn. Ah. ah. Okay, but then but then this guy is so heavy because it's big. It looks like you're gonna break something if you turn. Look at it. Okay, great. Now it can't come out. <laughs> can you unlatch it? Oh, okay. So you need two guys. Or you can like do it with this. That's one bad point. I use this so I know what's a good point. You gotta tell me what's the next bad point. Well, you have to pair the remote. <laughs> okay. My producer feels that any remote that comes with any... That's true. Because the first day when I got it out, I was like, bloody hell, the remote doesn't work. And I'm a man. I don't read manuals. So I read the manual. Lo and behold, it says that you need to pair it. So you need to pair it. So that can be... Well, that's not really a bad point. The bad point is that you guys and I don't read manuals. So Yi Chong does a lot of research before we come up here, we try out the products and give a good point and bad point. So during his research, he found out that some YouTubers and reviewers found out that it's not a true 100 watt per second. I have just proven to you that brightness is relative. So my point is this, that as long as you invest in the light and you find that it's useful and brighter, in my case, you notice that it's not as bright, it's one stop darker than our workhorse. But Ichong, <laughs> I would, I would, I would sacrifice one stop to stop working with this dumbass. Look at this. So viewers, my verdict, my final verdict of whether the Cobalt CL100 is good out of five star, I would rate Ichong, I would rate this a five star because it's really bright enough. I've used it for a whole one week on filming and also repairing my bike in the workshop. I truly love it. What about you? What would you give it? Four star? Why? Why four star? I doubt it will last very long. Because of the plastic? Mm. Well, okay, but still, it's a four star from Yi Chong and a five star from me. So viewers, if you plan to buy one continuous light, which is really power saving, really cool, has a lot of feature, this has to be it. And it comes with a kick-ass, cool-ass back as well. Oh, speaking of which, if you wonder when we bought this light, what is the bag that came with it? Hang on. This is the bag. 